everyone, this is so exciting. Okay, today I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek of my bedroom. I realized I've never actually showed you all of my room where I've done like a 360. Like I know you guys have seen my vanity and my makeup collection video and you've seen my bookcase and like pictures and you've seen obviously this area of my room but I really have never done a video where I've showed you guys what my room looks like since it's been put together. I do have a video on my second channel called Mini Room Tour, and it's actually a tour of this room before I moved in. So right before I moved all my stuff in, I did like a little before video, and the reason I did that is because I thought it would be cool once I got my room finished to do like a before and after. I do recommend watching the other like before empty room tour first before watching this, so I'll link it below and you can pause this one and watch that one if you are so inclined. This is just going to kind of be like a little preview room and a little after from my transformation mini room tour on my second channel. So I will link that. Like I said, I've said that like a gazillion times. I'm just really excited and I'm going to show you guys around my room now. I'll just do a quick overview and then I'll go to my bedroom door and go through everything. So this is what my room looks like. starting right outside of my door and when you open up my bedroom door the first thing you see is this little entryway and this is one of my favorite parts of my entire room so the first thing I have is my dress form from PB teen and I've just draped some pearls on this and I also pinned a little flower with one of the pins that came with the dress form this material you're supposed to be able to like put pins in and pin pictures and pieces of jewelry and all sorts of stuff so I just pinned that for decoration and then it also holds my everyday purse which is really nice because it's right here at the front of my bedroom and it's a really nice place to hold it and also I can just grab it when I'm leaving and then next to that I have my lingerie chest and on top of that I have a little candle that I got from anthropology and a floral picture frame that I hauled from forever 21 and inside I just have a little bit of extra wallpaper I just thought that was kind of a cute detail to put inside of that frame and then I have a little miniature lamp and three decorative perfume bottles. So I just like to keep this entryway really simple and really romantic and feminine and delicate. So then you have my bathroom, which actually isn't that interesting and hasn't changed really. So I'm not going to go in there. I do have a video on what's inside of my shower and it's pretty much exactly the same. But I will say that peach Bellini soap that's right on the corner is amazing. I just got that and it smells so good. Here's pine cone. Pine cone. He's like, I'm just looking up the wall. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, here's my closet. Now, it's not completely organized. It probably will be organized a little bit differently when I do my full room tour, but for now, this is the way I have it. And so I have all of my shoes over here, and some of the spots have shoes missing, and that's because Blair and I had an event recently, and so I took a lot of pairs of shoes, and they're actually still in my car because I'm bad like that. So the spots that are missing is because they're all in my car. And then on top, I just have two storage boxes. Pretty Things has like jewelry boxes and dust bags for things, and then scarves is obviously scarves. And then I have a little hat and my NYX makeup train case on the top. And then over here, I turned my little light on because it's kind of dark over here. These are like my event dresses. So actually, you probably will recognize a lot of these from different things that I've tweeted, different events that I've gone to and I've tweeted pictures. Um, so I have basically just have jackets and then event dresses over here. And then on top, I have two little bins and then some extra towels. And this actually has clean sheets and this has clean pillowcases. I change my sheets and pillowcases a lot and I like to have lots of extra sets because when I strip my bed to wash my bedding, I want to immediately put a fresh set on. And then underneath, I have a little bin back there that has like slippers and some of my flats that I didn't have room for on my shoe shelf. So just like flip-flops and different like... I don't know, flats back there. And then I have a pair of Ugg boots that has hay in it still from like a corn maze I went to. Yeah, I know that's crazy. I don't wear Uggs very often anymore. And then the bottom shelf. So this isn't like incredibly organized, my clothing. It's organized for me because I kind of have it actually organized by how often I use things. So this is my section of like my most used clothes. This is my favorite. And a lot of them are dresses because I prefer to wear dresses. And then on top, I just have some of my jackets and some of my more like, I don't know, like California casual sweaters. And so I wear these a lot too. I have like one of my wild fox sweaters and just some different ones that I've got. And then I have like my karma jackets and just some other leather jackets. A few of them are in my car again because, you know, I took a lot of changes of clothes. 
Up there, I have another pair of Ugg boots. I love those. Those are that's I think my oldest pair. I've had that for a really long time. Two storage boxes that I don't think have anything in them yet, but they will probably by the time I do my actual room tour. And then those little boxes. I should have had six because they look uneven, but I only bought five and I don't even know if they sell them anymore. And then that's more jackets and sweaters. And then this is like tops that I don't wear as often, so they're not like in this bottom section, which is like my most commonly worn. And then there's pants there. My closet's like a really weird shape, so I actually found like a triangular weird laundry hamper and I just grabbed it because I thought that was kind of interesting. I have some of my purses on this hanging rack with my Burberry earmuffs that I love that I had from college. So I have like my twin bags, my black and my cream. They're the exact same bag. Well, they're actually not. That's a part-time and that's a city bag. So they're actually not the same bag, but they look really similar. And then just some other bags. Some of my bags I use as decoration. There's another one down there. And then over here, I just have like, that's like my carry-on duffel. And I have a bin hidden down here that just has some of my travel essentials. So this is like a blanket I take with me when I fly. And then there's like a pillow and some fuzzy socks and stuff like that. And then over here, I have four bins hidden underneath this top shelf because I don't have this top shelf very full because I have these bins. So my closet actually isn't designed to be as useful as it could have been um, just because I don't have as many hanging clothes as I thought I needed when I designed this closet. First one has like spare makeup bags and spare wallets and some like smelly things like things that smell good in here too this has belts in it this one is like travel things again I travel a lot so I have like a little travel jewelry holder and some like little baggies for when I travel and some garment bags down there and then the last one has I think again just like spare makeup bags and some t-shirts that I don't wear very often so I just keep it there and then down there I have my three pairs of tennis shoes which I don't wear very often but I just keep it there Moving on to the rest of my bedroom. This bedroom is actually really long and skinny. So it's kind of like having two separate sections to a room. I have like my living section over here and then I have my sleeping section over here. So starting with my bed, I love this bed. It is so comfortable. The comforter is from Anthropology, and I just love how it looks really romantic and fresh and clean and white. I love white bedding. So on top, I just have two of my little lamb stuffed animals. I love little lambs. And then underneath this, I actually have the same comforter that I had in college. I had this duvet in college and I sleep with this because I like to keep my comforter really crisp and white. And then I have my nightstand with an Aloha Vanilla Slatkin & Co candle. And that's the book I'm reading. It's called Entwined and it is so good. Like I'm really enjoying that. And then my little lamp. So that's what my nightstand looks like. And then I love my wallpaper panels. It's like my favorite thing. My entire room was designed around these wallpaper panels. And I have my two little dream catchers that my mom got me for Christmas. So the big one's mine and the little one is pine cones. And I just think that's so adorable. I actually just taped it up there because I didn't know how to hang it. And it just kind of looks a little funny, but I really like it. And then my jewelry armoire is over there with a little moose stuffed animal and another candle on the top. There's my window, like it doesn't have a curtain, so that's kind of weird. That's a little bin that I just put cords in, so it's kind of boring. It also has my makeup mirror in there right now just because I don't like clutter, so I like to have everything put away when I'm not using it, so it actually just goes in there. My makeup vanity, which obviously you guys have seen if you've watched my makeup collection video, and so I'm not going to go through that just because it's exactly the same as it was, but the vanity chair is new. You guys, I don't think, have seen this and it's really pretty. So it's just like a blue kind of silk on the top and then it has like this floral print on here and on the back of it. I really like it. It's very like, I don't know, dainty. Then I have my brush holder, which all my brushes are being washed right now, so none of them are in there. My computer and one of my favorite candles, Pink Sangria, that smells so good. Like, it makes my room smell amazing. The top of my vanity has changed since my makeup collection video because I actually put those boxes up there on my bookshelf. So it did change a little bit, but it's still used for storage. There's my little chandelier. And here's my bookshelf, and I actually reorganize this constantly. It looks different now than the last time you saw it, and it will probably look different the next time you see it because I'm just constantly tweaking it. I really like it. And as you can see, I've decorated with bags and shoes and books and cameras and just all sorts of things. So it's a really girly place. It makes me really happy to look at it. I love the little fireplace 
and that's actually one of Pinecone's favorite toys. He's had that since he was a kitten, and he scratches in the middle, and then the ball lights up and goes round and round, if you're wondering what that is. But there are four drawers on either side of the fireplace, and I use that as my dresser since I don't have a dresser. So I just put, like, t-shirts and all of my sleeping things in there, and then, you know, this is what the top looks like, or more closely. So the shelves, like, they get changed a lot. They're not, like, incredibly organized right now, but... As you can see, I like owls. I have lots of owl things, lots of books. And then a couple different cameras. Another little, like, baby lamb. I love that little thing. And then more perfumes. Candles, another owl. Yeah. So that's everything. That was, like, a little peek of my room, I guess. Oh, and this little thing. So I actually just had this made. I picked out all the pieces, but then I had someone actually, like, attach the knobs to the board. So I got the board from Ballard Designs and it was actually like a bulletin board and then I had it covered with extra wallpaper from my wallpaper panels. And then I just got the knobs from Anthropology, and I just picked out knobs that I like. So there's like a flower and a little owl and I like this one a lot. It's like a little clock. And then I just had them attached and I'm actually going to hang this on my wall and I'm going to use it as a necklace holder. So I'm either going to put it on this wall right here so like next to my bookshelf or I'm gonna put it right here on this wall so you guys tell me what you think cuz I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet and I'm actually gonna do something with this wall I don't have anything on this wall right now it's really boring I don't know if I want to do like a big painting or if I want to do something like more fun like maybe lots of different picture frames I just don't want it to be too cluttered but this is definitely gonna go on one of those two places so you guys can tell me where you think I should put that I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of my room and I will have a more in-depth room tour coming as soon as I finish all the little things I want to get some throw pillows for my bed and obviously get curtains and a curtain for my closet as well and I also want to get a little chair for this area I have a lot of empty floor space and I kind of just feel like it's dead space so I want to get like a little snuggly chair maybe if I can find one that's little and cute so I will have that video at some point but until then I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later bye